Welcome to this demo of a retail chatbot built in Monday.com and powered by Twilio. The problem, how do you allow a customer to inquire about the availability of a product, place and pay for an order and track delivery all via WhatsApp and in a conversational format but without the involvement of an agent. The solution, we have developed an integration between Monday.com and Twilio's chatbot application that automates 100% of this interaction, including locating a store with stock of the required product, taking payment by card, and allowing the customer to check the delivery status. This solution is available via WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, SMS, Voice Call, and even Alexa or Google Assistant. With no need to log in to a website or app, the customer gets to keep the interaction in a chat conversation where they can easily retrieve it at a later date. In this demo, I will show you how a customer can make an inquiry with just a business WhatsApp number, how the customer can check stock uh, available near to them, how they can make a payment, and then how the customer can receive a live update on the delivery status within WhatsApp or their chosen channel of communication. So let's go over to Monday.com. What is Monday? It's a customizable work operating system where teams create and shape workflows to plan, run and track their operations. It's a cloud-based platform that facilitates a very efficient and a intuitive way to manage your teams. We have three boards set up here. A board here showing us uh, current orders. We have a board with a list of customers and a board showing us the products we sell and the stock levels. Let's bring up our phone and we're in WhatsApp. I'm going to say, hi, can I order an iPhone 25? And it said, sure, is this the one you would like? It sent me an image. And I'm going to say, yes. Can I take your name? And what's your address? One High Street, Sheffield. And put in postcode. Thanks, Damien. We have stock at a store near to you. Would you like to collect or shall we deliver? And it shared a map if I want to collect. And let's just check the stock on the screen here. So we have 87. So we're looking for that when the order's confirmed to reduce. I'm going to say deliver. Thanks, Damien. You asked for an iPhone 25 to be delivered to one High Street Sheffield. We just need to take payment of a thousand pounds. Are you happy for us to call you now to take the payment? Yes. And we're going to accept the call. And asked me for my card details. And should ask me for the security code and then complete Please the transaction. Code. So we're looking to see if the stock. You. Your card details have been accepted. So we're looking to see if the stock will reduce on our Monday board. So that's all done. You'll receive your iPhone 25 tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 12. And we can see there that our stock, our stock level has been reduced. Let's have a look at the other boards. So on our customer board, we can see that our customer record has been created. So it's, it's, it's pulled in my phone number and it's saved the address that I inputted. And we also have a, a new order. I'm going to put in now a delivery 
date and I'm going to add a delivery time and we'll save that. I'm going to change the status to en route and this should drop from the top. Let's change the status one. This should drop from the top group into the middle group here on our Monday board. So I've updated the status manually. We can of course integrate with delivery systems to, to add that data in automatically. What I'm going to do now is fast forward 24 hours and I'm just going to track or chase up delivery of my order. So I'm going to say where is where is my delivery and we've got a confirmation there your order status is as follows iPhone 25 is out for delivery we estimate you'll receive it today at 2 p.m. so it's pulled in that information that we put in there the delivery date and and the time So that's it. Uh, this workflow is suitable for any retail application where customers might prefer to perform the transaction in a chat conversation instead of through a website. Uh, the real benefit is that it allows a customer to choose their channel and they can return to the chat conversation uh, at any point in the future.